It's Lisa here from Lisa's Paint Parties. How are you tonight? We're going to get started very shortly on our painting this week. I have my iPad charged. I will grab the image so I can show you all if you do not know yet what we are painting. So this week, it was a really tight race this week. There was two images um, that were very close. I believe this one won with 52% of the vote and the other one had like 40 something. Like it was, I think, 41, I think. Um, yeah, it was really, really close. Um, it was a second play, the second option, I think it was. Uh, it was kind of like um, a landscape scene and it kind of looked like a heart in the sky, the way it was made. Um, but this one, Dance Into My Heart, is the one that won for this past week. So this is the one we're going to be painting together tonight. Okay. So what I would suggest doing, I will have this um, available like on the side where I'm painting. So you'll have access to this. However, um, what uh, I would suggest is if you go and grab um, a screenshot of this image from the winning post on my page, it might be easier just for you to have that as reference just beside you. So you can um, uh, utilize that as we go through in case I'm either going too quickly or too slowly. Um, so you just have that for reference. I would suggest that. Um, so like I said, I'll put it here. And when we start painting, for anyone who is new and hasn't joined before, I will move the camera lower so you can actually see um, my canvas a lot more clearly. As you join, feel free to say hi and let me know where you're tuning in from. You will notice there's some lovely little uh, weird scammy things that are happening here. Um, so please don't click on any of the links that may pop up. Um, that is uh, not where you need to click. If you can see me, you are where you need to be. Um, and I am trying to do everything I can do to ban all of these um, scammer people. But it is just me doing this for free, so I don't have too much um, too much resources besides what I can do. <laughs> I guess, quickly and trying to be on top of it. Um, so, yeah, so if you see me just doing this kind of randomness, I'm just trying to ban some people from scamming other people. Again, I don't actually know where their links go, um, but it looks like you're supposed to click on the links to see me live when clearly you can see me live right here. Um, so I'm just going to try to um, get rid of them so no one else clicks on them in case they're trying to fish for information or whatever they're doing. Awesome. So sorry about that. I would rather just be fully focused on engaging all of you right away, but I'm just concerned about these um, not great people doing this not great stuff. So that's super fun. Oh, wow. Look, they're all scammy. I guess I have nothing else better to do. Hi, Sherry from Louisiana. Hi, Patty. Hi, Carol. Thanks, everyone, for trying to uh, comment <laughs> in between all of this annoyance. So please, like I said, do not um, click on any of these links. And if you see them pop up as I'm starting to do the uh, the thing, again, I don't know if they would do that because clearly I'm painting, so I don't think anyone would click anywhere else. But just in case, um, please just make sure you let alert anyone else, let them know like not to click on it. Um, and I'll keep trying to remind as well. It just ruins the flow quite significantly. So anyways. It's been an interesting day, so I'm not surprised this is happening today. <laughs> Hi, Gabrielle. Oh, awesome. I went, uh, I drove to Detroit. I'm, I'm in, I'm just outside of Toronto, and I drove to Detroit for a Backstreet Boys concert a long time ago. <laughs> that was my only time in Detroit, um, and it was very, very, it was a very fun concert. Hi, Ruth. Yes, you can definitely see this later. Um, so this will be um, available either on my Facebook page under um, the Videos tab, or you can go onto my YouTube channel and you can watch it there. So on my YouTube channel, once this is done, I'll take this live video and then I'll put it right onto the YouTube um, channel. It's Lisa's Painting Party, so you can watch it from there as well, okay? Awesome. And hi, Asma. I'm glad you're joining for the first time. I hope you enjoy. Again, I apologize for all of this randomness on the side. Very annoying. Um, hi, Sapna. But I think it's what we have to deal with and trying to keep things moving along and free. <laughs> I haven't figured out a way to do it otherwise. All right, they're very active tonight. I don't even know what's going on. All right, 
Wow, and they even put my picture in here. Holy baloney. Once they even used my name, like they actually had my name saying like, oh, like Lisa, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what the hell? So frustrating. Anyways, I am my um, lovely uh, cousin made me my own little it's like me as like a little gnome which is so adorable but what i love most about it not only did she make a little palette that is all covered in a bunch of paint because i always have my palette really dirty but she actually made this adorable little sign that says scammers suck because i keep talking about how much i hate them so much <laughs> which i really love that she made this for me so i wanted to share that with you today so at least you can get a little bit of enjoyment out of the creativity and you have like a little mini canvas how adorable I love it so much so super cute hi Brie hi Karina awesome hi Carol and Felicia and Kathy fantastic awesome thanks for commenting I appreciate that um hopefully we can comment all those people away oh it makes me so angry okay so again this is the one we're going to be doing today Dance into my heart. Sorry for the light reflection in there. Ooh, if I do it like that, it's better. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. So um, as always, we're going to be starting with our verse furthest in the back. So we're going to be starting with um, the background. So basically um, how you have like this light, the yellow and the orange and the red into like the purple. So we're going to do the sky first um, and then we'll walk you through from there. So in terms of supplies, I have a canvas board. You don't have to use a canvas board. You can use whatever canvas you like. I just prefer to use them for storage purposes and the quality is very decent, so I like it. And mine's an 11 by 14. Um, I have paint brushes. I have lots of paint brushes, but I recommend you have at least three. A nice large paint brush, a medium and a fine. Um, and again, I don't really say the sizes because it really depends on what size canvas you're using. So whatever you're using, have like one with nice uh, large coverage and have something with um, medium and something that with uh, fine as well. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Honestly, I think I've banned like 50 accounts so far. Like, <laughs> and again, like, ah, uh, okay. Um, okay. So you got that. And then we have water containers. Uh, so I just have some water, two of them going. I have paper towel, trusty old paper towel, and you have your paint. So I always say if you have your primary colors, your blue, your yellow, your red, and you have white and black, then we can do anything with those colors. So I'll always talk from the basis of those. That being said, if you have other premix, like I also do have premixes back here, sometimes I'll dip into them depending, um, you can use that instead. It, does, it doesn't really matter. And I usually use, um, I just use everything from the dollar store, so I don't use anything fancy because this should really be accessible and fun for everyone. Um, if you've never painted before, just have fun and enjoy it. Acrylic is really easy in a way, and it's also really annoying sometimes, so it kind of, you have to like get a feel for it. Um, even using like your paintbrushes and stuff, you kind of get a feel for which one is better. Um, awesome. Yes, oh, thank you, Dawn, for replying to Kathy, fantastic. Yeah, you can definitely, this video will be available on my Facebook page under the videos tab, and it will also be on my YouTube channel under Lisa's Painting Parties once it's all done, so you'll be able to watch it there. It's all for free. So do not click random links, and do not pay for any random things unless you're going to my YouTube channel, which it's free. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I think we should start. So it's 6.05. Good time. We have, a, we have almost 60 people watching. Hi, 60 people. It's fantastic. Uh, hi, Katie. I'm so glad you guys joined. So anyone who doesn't know the process of this, basically I put up three options on my Facebook page and a post every Saturday at noon, noon my time, which is Eastern Standard Time. So you'll see a post go up. If you like my page, you'll get notification saying, here's a new post. And then you can see the three options for the upcoming week. Basically, you have until the Tuesday at noon, Eastern Standard Time to vote. Um, and then the one with the most votes is the one we paint on Wednesday. Um, and that's what we do. So, um, and then we just kind of keep going. We've been doing it for almost a year now. Um, so, and it's always free and I don't plan to do it any differently. If you want me to do any personal parties, I'm totally open to that. If you have an image that you would like me to consider to put as one of the um, voting options, send it over as a private message. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start off. So on my very dirty 
palette, which is nicely um, captured in my little baby one over here. Um, I'm going to start putting some color. So again, we're going to do the background here. So I'm definitely going to use my yellow. And I'll just, and I'll move the camera as well down further so you can um, see that a bit better. I'm going to use my white. Oh, that's almost out of paint. You get some nice, nice sounds there. I have to grab some more. Maybe I have to grab for my drawer actually before we continue. Holy baloney, they are relentless today. I'm putting some red. I'm also getting some blue because I want to make some of that purple happen. So again, do not click on any of those random links that are popping up. Please report them if you can. Those are all scammy mix scammers. And I don't know how to do that without making these like paid sessions that you have to like register for. And I would I don't want to do that. So or not making them live, which I think live is so much more fun. But they're ruining my fun. Try and ban him in a moment. One second. Spam. Next. Ban. Ban. So annoying. If anyone is interested in being the person who bans people, please let me know. Because <laughs> we can talk about how we can make this work. Again, I have no money. so. <laughs> but if you can help me out, that'd be awesome. Anyways, okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's get our, our big old, big old brush. And what we're going to do is let's start prepping it up. What I like to do to prep it up is I like to put a very thin layer of water just to get the canvas wet. And that will allow me to do like a nice base coverage very quickly with my paint. Okay, so I'm going to get my big and though this goes down to about. So if you look about halfway, it's going to go down a little bit more than halfway is where your sky is. And you can honestly, you should bring it down a little bit lower than wherever that ground is going to live. So let's bring this and just put just water and just do like a thin layer of water. You don't want it to be too much water because if you do that, it will totally, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, make your paint just too watery, essentially. So we don't want to do that. So if you put a little bit too much, that's why you can use your trusty paper towel. And I always end up putting like a little bit more than I want to. So I'm just going to like dab it off a little bit. Okay, so just do that way. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now, now that I have that going, so I think I'd like to start with, I'm going to start right in the middle with the white circle. So decide where you want that spotlight to be. And that in this, if you're trying to mimic this exactly, then you want to, this one will be just above center of your canvas. I'm doing it in portrait as well. I didn't mention it this time. I think you could probably see it, but um, I'm going to move this down now, actually, now that we start painting. There we go. Now you can see it nice and close when I start doing it. Okay. Oh, I must put paint all over me today. Not surprising. It's that kind of day. All right. Um, the other thing I want to mention too is just because this painting uses these colors does not mean you have to do that. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to try to mimic this one as closely as possible. Okay, so let's put that white light in. And again, it's funny because I just put water on my canvas and now I'm putting white and anyone who's joining is like, you're not painting anything. This is a skin. <laughs> but I assure you there's white right in the middle in a circle like that. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger than where I want it to end up. Being. So I want to put white paint in a circle a little bit more than where I want that white to live. And then I'm going to get some yellow and on the edge of that, so around my white, I'm going to put a circle of yellow. And now I'm going to just mix it in slightly into my white. So I have a little bit of a blend there. Like, oh, thanks, Kurtu. Thanks for stopping in. Definitely anyone who's painting now or when you paint later, please um, please post a picture of your painting because I love to see them. And that's one of my most favorite parts to see how everyone has interpreted their own way. I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I just wipe my brush off a little bit to get some of the yellow off. And I'm just going to put a little bit more white around the edge. And I'm just going to mix it a little bit into that yellow now. So I kind of, what I did first was white paint larger than what I want. Then I went in and got yellow and just did like a circle around and then I kind of went in and blended it a bit. I cleaned my brush. 
I got more white paint and then put the white paint and then brought it and blended it in. So now I have, if you can see, now that's <laughs> shinily, holy, it's, it's, it has more of a blend to it. Can't see anything here. I need better light and everything. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to continue with the yellow around because what I want to do is I'm going to get an orange going, but I'm going to mix it right on the canvas. So I'm just going to get yellow and bring it around in the area that I have not painted yet. Okay. So that's going to end up being my orange in a little bit. But I'm going to keep bringing this out a little bit further. So it's going to be like a very big yellowy circle right now. Okay. And then I'm going to get my red. And we're going to bring it around the yellow circle. Okay. So I'm not going to top my yellow just yet. And then I'm going to start to bring it in slightly. And I'll bring it out. So now it's already kind of making the orange right on there. Okay. And just to continue to blend, I'm going to go back and get my yellow and I'm just going to mix a bit of yellow back into the orange that I just made and bring it out a little bit more. And I might even go right back into my white, to be honest. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my white right here and then bring it out. So just remember when you're doing this, you're doing, you're always going in this like circular stroke to kind of make it nice and fluid. Okay. This red is a very light red. This red is called, oh, <laughs> this red's called bright red. And boy, is it bright. The other red I was using, I think, was called Christmas red, but I ran out of it. And that definitely was, was much deeper. This one's very, uh, very bright. To me, it almost has like a, it looks more pink. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know if I like it that much, to be honest. I like the other one a bit more. I just put another layer of red, but I'm going to go back and get that yellow again and just play with that line a bit more. I don't really want it to be like harsh divisions. I want it to blend in as much as possible from one to the other. The light in the background is very bright on the screen. Um... On this screen here, there's this was a um, from the picture I took, but I don't know which light is creating it. Oh, that one, I got it. Maybe that might be a little bit better, so it's not so in there. Let me know if that's a little bit better. There's still a little bit of a glare, but that's from the when I put that picture on there, so ignore that part. Thank you, Pearl. Okay, so I'm going to continue with my red into these areas out here. So you're going to go further with your red than you think you may want to. Oh, shoot. If you do what I just did and put a nice little red glob in the middle of your picture, I will show you how to fix that. We can fix that, no problem. It's a little scary at first, but don't worry. I got it. Okay, let's just make this. I want to get this part going first and I'll take care of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a clean brush and I'm just going to lift it off. So I just use a fully clean brush to lift that off. And everything's still wet, so it's nice. And I'm just going to blend like that. So if you make a mistake, that's how you can 
quickly. No, behind me it shows. Ah. Got it. Perfect. Thank you, Pearl. Sorry, I think there's also a delay, so I think by the time I see your message, I think it's already been up for all of you guys to see for a while. I was watching someone else's live and I realized that. And I thought, oh man, that's a good thing to realize. <laughs> like how quick I get the updates on it, you know? Okay, so when I get it a bit further out, I'm going to go with my blue and I'm going to start to put my blue in. And because my brush has a ton of red already on it, red and blue make our beautiful purple. So I'm just going to bring that all the way to my corner. You want to try to remember to paint the sides of your canvas as you go. I'm just going to bring that in. Okay, I'm going to do that on the side here too. Let's bring the red, let's get more purple, blue I should say, to make it purple. Let's get this corner going. Okay. <laughs> okay, and there's a little bit of there's some that purple kind of comes around. So we'll bring it around a bit. Mm, shoot. Just got some paint on my pants. And if you've also joined me before, you'll know that I say you shouldn't wear things that you don't want to get dirty because acrylic paint, once it dries, it's permanent. So, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get that out of my light colored pants. <laughs> so, unlike dropping a little glob of paint on your painting, to get it on your clothes, you want to try to remove it as quickly as possible. And if it sits there too long and it dries, you might as well draw a little picture around it because that's going to stay with you. Okay, so. So now we have the corners, I suppose. I'm going to say corners because this, yeah, we have the purple. Let's just say purple. The purple is in there now. Okay. And I often use my, um, I haven't actually put my, this large paintbrush back in the water yet. I've only been cleaning it off with my um, paper towel. So, um, and then just continuing to use it. Um, I find if I start putting more water in it at this point, it ends up, making everything too liquidy just like waters it down too much that's not good i need way more red so i'm adding more red on my palette already so i'm just gonna put some more mix this back in just continue to blend it it's not really that much down here. I think that's actually going to be covered with the water, but it's cool. I'll have that happening here. All right. So basically, you can kind of keep. Oh, Katie, really? Dawn will work on it, eh? I think I have Dawn downstairs, too. That's really good. I'm going to try that. Oh, you're welcome, Janine. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, yeah. So crazy, like, when I realize, like, there's people from all over the world watching, and you're like, this afternoon, and it's, like, 621 here on my time. <laughs> so, I'm like, throws me off every time. I'm so glad. Definitely, yeah, uh, check it out. Enjoy. How do I keep the paint wet for so long? So when I did that initial coat with the with the water on the canvas, that is one thing that helps that happen. So that allows everything to stay wet a little bit longer, I find. Um, and like in here is fully dry at this point. I don't use a lot of paint. Um, I work pretty quickly. Um, and I think that's kind of it. Like I work quickly. And honestly, I think my red paint is actually a little bit 
more liquidy because it's not it's not very opaque um, when I've mixed it and I think it's the cause of the red paint like it, you can kind of see the canvas through it in some portions so I think um, that would work oh it's okay yeah so Katie says she hasn't tried that to take it out of clothes once it dries that's what I'm worried about because at this point I don't think I'm going to be able to like be like, bye guys. <laughs> Get, like, check my pants out. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll let you guys know if it works once it's dried. I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think I'm going to be stuck with it. And it's not like the nicest. It's kind of like almost like a purpley red color. So <laughs> someone's going to be like, "There's blood on your pants." Um. Anyhow, painter problems. Okay, serves me right. I should have just changed. It's a little cut up for time today. I normally don't work on Wednesdays. Um. And I just I agree to do a little bit at work before granted I, I, I could st I don't have to wear these pants I could have worn like no one can see my pants anyways work from home but for some reason I put on light color ones anyways you guys get to share in my stories okay I'm just touching this up because I, I really don't like how um it's not very it's not opaque enough and I want it a little bit a little bit more I want to see that purple. I don't really want to see the strokes or the canvas behind it. I want that area to be good. That area is still not that great. So, so just, I would say just keep touching it up until you're happy with it. If it dried really quickly, you can go back over it and do like another layer right on top. I would do the same process. So I would start again. You can actually at that point you could you can start again back right in the middle with the lightest color but you could alternately also start with the darkest and then do it the other way so you could do darker and then you can get like red and then you can build the red and bring that in um, and work in towards it you just want to be cautious to not lose that like brightness in the center and I find with me if I work from the inside out um, it, it, it for me it tends to be better that way Awesome. Actually, I don't like that for the top that much, but it's open there. Okay. Cool. All right. So the next step from here, once you get it to where you like it, again, we're going to have, like, I, I said again, even though I didn't say it yet, uh, we're going to have these, like, trees in front. So this is really just making your background. So once you have the the color where you want it um, and you're happy with it um, we're going to start going down and we're going to put in this water okay and we follow the same flow I definitely brought my sky way lower but I think I'm going to bring my water up to about like here more or less so it's going to cover my sky a little bit so I want my dancers to be more yeah I might bring it up a little bit higher because so I do want my dancers to be more in the spotlight so I'm going to actually cut it up a bit higher. Okay, so you know what? Let's just do that with white just to give me an eye line of where I want my horizon to sit. So I think I'm going to bring it up to about there. I worked so hard at making those purples darker, and I'm just going to cover it up. That's fine. That's what happens. Okay. So I'm just going to bring white for now for my horizon line just very quickly turning into like a lilac but that's okay 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 so Kathy H says that she's going to try paint thinner to make it a little thinner. And Kathy M says when she tries touching things up, it doesn't work. It either pulls the paint off or leaves a rough texture. So that could be two things. So if it's getting to the point of it being in like just before it gets dry, like it kind of becomes like tacky. And that is what will happen. That when you put the brush on, it will pull off the paint. So it either has to still be fully wet um to do that or you need to wait further until it's 
more dry and then you'll be in a better spot. That's what I've found. Okay, so with this, I want to I'm going to start a bit with the purpley dark and I'm going to start I'm going to do the opposite that I did actually from the sky for fun. So I'm going to get my red and my blue and I'm going to put in a little bit of this darkness. Okay. Along the side. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go the other way into it. So now, and I'm going to need even more red again. Went through red like a mad woman today. Okay. So I'm going to bring in red here. Now everything's really wet right now. I'm really not a fan of this, this red. It's so thin. I have to see if I have another Christmas red in my bucket of paints. So I'm just putting in red along the sides. So I'm, well, trying to, but it does not have very good coverage at all. Okay, so it's just giving a bit of red that way. Please move the camera up a little so you can see the bottom. There we go. So I'll tilt it like that. Hopefully that helps you. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't realize you couldn't see it. Okay. I'm going to go with um, yellow and I'm getting some red on it. So I'm kind of pre-mixing a little bit on my palette to start. And I'm just going to start putting this in and put my yellow to get that orange happening. I'm going to have to wait till that part dries more for me to get more of the color what I want. So right now it looks pretty messy and that's okay. And then we're going to play with it more and add more detail on it to give it more of that water vibe, okay? okay so then I'm going to get like yellow. I think with the yellow what I want to do is I'm going to bring it in and then every time I get too much of the other color on, I'm just going to like wipe off my brush to try to keep it as yellow as possible in that area. I don't use it too much. And I'm going to put white down the middle. I'm just going to get it on the canvas and then we're going to play with that more.
Okay, so I want to start mixing this a little bit more so there's a better blend happening. So I'm going to just make some more of this purple again for more of the opacity. Get some red. Kind of looks like a heart. So right now my paint being wet is a bit of a detriment to me because <laughs> I want to get this a little bit lighter but I'm going to have to wait until the paint dries more before I can properly cover that and get the pure yellow and the pure white because the paint I had below it was still quite wet when I put that on and so it's not giving me what I want just yet. So I'm still going to play a little bit because I, I can't help but touch my canvas. Um, But then I need to stop for a little bit and I think I might, it's kind of hard to move on to something else until this part is done, so. I might have to just wait until it dries a bit more. So I want to add a little bit more. So in this image too, um, you see a little bit of it, but instead of it being very large brush strokes, you want to use like the edge to get like little ripples happening. So I'm going to just play with that just to get the texture of the water more to my liking. It's not there yet. That will help it blend a little more. And it's okay if one color goes into the other in this way. And then I will add more detail once it dries a little bit more with a finer brush. And I'll put that yellow more where it's supposed to be and the white more where it's supposed to be. And I'll put little elements of the other ones too. And putting like little strokes and trying to make sure that they're not super, um, like you don't want them all to be the same. So you wanna try to have some of it longer some a little shorter because water isn't you know if it's too um it's too much looking the same pattern it's not going to look as real so you want it to have an organic feel so you even want some of them to go off your side of your page don't just have them stop in the middle of the canvas because it's not going to make sense let's just start to like put little little lines Thanks for applying, Asma. I appreciate it. Thanks for the questions, Sandy. You guys rock. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I feel like my sky also, my line is not a very good, uh, it's like, meh, my horizon's kind of funky. I've got to fix that as well. <laughs> They'll be dancing on a slant. Okay, so I think what I want to do I don't know if I want to change my brush yet. I'm kind of liking like the edge it's giving me as I'm mixing it in. Um, I don't know. I'm going to play with yellow and see. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to switch just to, yeah. So now that I'm finally going to switch my brush, I'm just going to clean this off.
And I'm just going to go with a thinner brush. I'm using one of my thinnest brushes just to start putting some ripples in colors that I want to pop. So I'm going to get my yellow in because the base looks dry enough for this to work. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a little bit of paint or maybe a lot of paint on my thinner brush and I'm just putting little little strokes to get this like ripply water happening in the area where I want that yellow to live. Horizon lines really bother me. I, I gotta fix that like pretty soon. It's really uh, driving me a little crazy. But I'm also, I like doing this water part. <laughs> And then we're going to do the same process with all the other colors. Oh, I feel like I need to fix this line though. So let's do with white. Just gonna put like little white lines as well in this white area. And again, when you do this, you want to vary the lines a little bit. Make sure some are, they don't start and stop in the exact same spot so it's not gonna look very natural. Hopefully if you're driving me, you have like some music playing in the background. I'd love to have music playing, but um, with like copyright infringements and stuff, it affects my ability to do so. I tried to do some classical at some point and I still got dinged for it. So I guess the playlist or Spotify I was listening to, it must have had something that wasn't, uh, wasn't kosher, so. So yeah. Okay. You can just bring the white down a little bit. A nice little tip. And this just gives you more control over the ripples in the water. Oh, so pretty. Awesome. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with the orange, the red, and the purple, essentially. So for the orange, I will just have to, again, kind of pre-mix it on my palette before I add a little flicks of orange, because I want them to be more noticeable. Um, so I'm just mixing that first. I'm going to pop these in. If the canvas is pretty, is dry already, you'll be able to get more strokes out of each, like, dip of paint. If you're still working on wet paint, you're going to have to kind of go back more frequently to add whatever color you're trying to get pop. So if you're doing orange and it's still wet behind here, you'll have to keep going back because every time you dip it back on some other colors, it will grab the other colors and it will go with it. So, and this is obviously a little bit more smoother. I always like my, my preference is to paint water like this. I like to, I really enjoy the ripples in the water. So. You'll see that in, in previous paintings that I've done on the site. I do the same, the same type of thing. 
And if you have a different way to go about it, if you're trying a different technique and it's working really well or you're digging it, or even if you're trying something that's not working, feel free to share in the comments. Um, and again, you were painting all together, so there could be someone else who has like a great tip suggestion to share. So please feel free to do that. Just because you're watching me, I am not the expert. I am someone who loves to paint. And loves to share it with people. But I've had people like even comment and like tell me something to correct. <laughs> and I'm totally fine with that. Feel free. There's always ways I can improve. Like I said, this is a. Uh, should be fun. And a learning for us all. Okay, so I keep getting this orange happening. There's not enough orange on that side. Hey, Paula. Thanks for checking in there and letting me know that you will check it out later. That's awesome. I can't wait to see yours. Thanks, Elizabeth. I'm glad you like it. I like water is my favorite thing. I love to do it. And I loved it. Like I said, I love to paint it this way. It's my most favorite way to paint it. Like I said, and I know like in our inspiration image, and again, for anyone who doesn't know, all the inspiration images that I put up for vote are not my images. I've never painted this before. This is my first time painting this. Um, so this is literally, I'm just showing you how I would approach doing this. And again, this is just to show you how you can pretty much pick anything you love, any image you love, and you can recreate it or change it up, make it your own, and you can paint and you can be a painter and you can have fun and enjoy it or make gifts for people. And don't be scared of it. Like it's, it can be very attainable. And it's fun. I'm just going with my red now. Grab the red on here and I'm bringing the red little waves in here. And I'm still not a fan of this red paint. Oh my gosh. It's so, so thin. So that's the thing, when you use dollar store paints like I do, some of them are fantastic and they have really good, they work really well with what you want. And some of them can be like this one, which is just not, it's not giving me what I want. It's not horrible, but it's, it's annoying. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Honestly, when I first started and I was painting over that area that was uh, still wet from before, I was worried that I was going to totally mess it up in front of all of you. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I'm very glad that I think I'm, I think it looks kick ass. Like, I love it. <laughs> and again, it's different. You can see this one's more like blotted in different spots. So it depends on the technique that you're looking for and how, what you want to achieve. But I, I love doing it this way. This is my most, that's my favorite way to do it. Okay. And then my crappy purple. Again, I might, you know what? I am going to, try to see how the pre-mixed purple I have is 
just to see if it's a little bit thicker because um, how thin this is is really not what I like. We'll see. Very likely. It's the same brand, so I bet it's probably the same kind of thing. Okay, it's a little thicker. That's nicer. As you can probably see, this can go on for as, as long as you want it to. The more layers and the more you build on the water by putting these little concentrated paint strokes in, the more it's going to look like more deeper. It's going to have more, it have more depth. It's just going to look better, really. Sometimes I start talking and I don't know where I was going with it. <laughs> so bear with me. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm so much happier with that. That purple is much better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. That is what I like. Okay, my horizon is still crooked. <laughs> Didn't really fix that yet, did I? Not at all. Okay, let's see if I can do a little bit. This needs to come up a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm gonna try to fix this somehow. Let's see how this works. trying to fix it by just adding the same colors that are just below it into it to try to bring it up a little bit. I think that was a little better. This line's kind of strange here. I think that's what's throwing me off too. This line should be more of a straight line here. Let's see. Okay. And then my background. I kind of have a weird like wobbly line in my horizon as I'm just trying to blend it into the sky so it doesn't keep throwing off the way this looks. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to fix this. And again, like we are going to have the, the branches and stuff on top of it. So hopefully it won't look as bad when I put those into it. And also just for difficulty, I'm using my thinnest brush to try to cover a larger space. <laughs> I should probably change my brush. <laughs> but I'm not going to because I'm a little stubborn. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. It's still... Let me think. Paper towel. Let's just see where we're at with my line. Oh yeah. Okay. So is that really what I need to do? It looks like I looks like I need to bring my water that high. That makes more sense. So I'm just trying to measure it to see <laughs> where I need to fix it. And yeah, that is more where it is. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to fix my horizon line with a paper towel. Anyone who's joining in and is like, what is this paint technique? This is called fixing 
mistakes. Okay, now I'm going to fill that in and it should be better. Let's see how that works. Thanks, Becky. Hi, Joe. Thank you. I even make the mistakes look easy, don't I? <laughs> when I make my random horizon line decide to be on a weird skew. Let's get some more of this orange happening, shall we? is much better because it was looking pretty bad before. I think that is working out really good. All right, perfection. Okay, so fixed up my horizon line a bit. At least it doesn't look so tilty as I did before, which is good. You saw my lovely paper towel technique, <laughs> so feel free to use that if you need to. Um, the, what I did not add yet is I didn't add like the shadow of the dancers. I am definitely um, apprehensive to paint the dancers in because uh, doing something that's very um, precise always freaks me out. So we're not going to touch that yet. We are going to do our trees that can be nice and organic and we can make mistakes with and it's all good. <laughs> we're going to do that first. So the actual tree trunks and the branches are what we're going to work on. Now these trees they're kind of weird. They kind of seem to like, they're planted kind of in this water. Um, and then, but there's still a little bit of, um, like you can see the shadow in the water. So they're kind of like, maybe like at a certain spot. Some of them are a little bit higher up than the other ones. Kind of strange, kind of trippy. Really what we're going to be using the trunks for is to create a nice, um, like frame for the spotlight, which is our, our couple that's dancing, right? So that's the kind of vibe that we're going to go with. So I think the best approach of action will be, I'm going to use my thin brush and my black paint that has been sitting out for a little bit. I don't know if I need to put a little bit of water. If yours has been sitting out for a bit, you might want to add a little drop of water into the paint just so it thins it out a bit. Um, just kind of feel it out. It should feel like easy to spread. And so it looks like there's about four on each side. Again, yours can't be four, it can be many more, it can be less. And the one thing we want to do is we want these ones down here, these um, trunks, to be thicker than the branches that are going up. The branches, as they go up, they get thinner. So let's try to do that. Um, make it thicker here and make the branches up here thinner as much as possible. Even with my thinnest brush, I, it might still be a bit thicker, which is okay. It's just we still want to have the light of the background shine through and we're still going to put all these pretty little like flowering like leaves on them too. Oh yeah, Valerie's you're in my boat too, I eh? bet dancers are scary. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so 
<laughs> so much so. But we, we will get through it together. We'll figure it out. Okay. So let's pop a brand, a tree in somewhere here. It's not as thick or opaque as I want it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this. So I just made it a thin line at first. And I'm just thickening it up a little bit as I go. Okay. okay. And then we're going to have a curve. So we're going to have one of these curve in. I'm going to try just thicken that up a little bit, but not too much. And another branch is going to come up like this and come out. Wait, now you can't see the top of the canvas. <laughs> the joy of being live. Do, 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 do. So we're going to put some additional branches, but I'm going to try to keep to this curving way and try to make them thinner if I can, which is a little tricky with some of these, these are my thinnest, thinnest brush. Put a bunch of little branches coming out of it. Okay. This branch looks too thin. It doesn't really make sense. So let me just fix that up a little bit. Okay. And then let's put another tree in. This one is going to be like here, more or less. And just what I'm doing, I'm kind of having them stop more or less at the same spot. I don't know if... I'm going to end up keeping it like that or not, but for now, that's what I'm doing. Okay. And these don't have to be super um, straight. Like some trees can be a little bit knobby, so don't feel like it has to be perfectly, perfectly straight or anything. Okay. So this one too, I'm going to bring it out and have it come out. Okay, and then this one's going to come up more. A little thicker like that. Maybe it's going to cross over into this tree. Like that. Cool. And then let's add a few more branches coming out and over. I do rest my hand on the canvas as I do it, so I'm trying to maintain my lines. If you're doing that, just be cautious that you're, you don't have any paint on your hand. Because you'll get an unwelcome surprise, as I have absolutely done. I want to make some of them a little bit like crinklier, because I don't like these being all so perfectly straight, kind of bugging me. I still want them to kind of have the same sweepy motion, but I want it to have a little bit of crinkle to them. Like, I want them to be a little creepy, <laughs> I think. I like happiness, but I like a little creepy in that happiness, you know? It can't just all be perfectly straight branches. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to have another branch come from this tree as well. I'm going to make this one come out this way. Okay, let's pop in another tree. 
Let's do another one here. Okay, and this one's gonna break off a lot earlier. I'm gonna break off like here. like over here like that yes yes mm, I don't know where to put my hand <laughs> and there's the black mark that I said try to avoid to do Scraggly ones. That's well, looking pretty nice. Okay, let's put in this other little tree here. Okay, it's gonna blue side branch right away, right there. Another one right there. Bring this guy up a little bit. Okay. And okay. Okay. Very scraggly. I feel like I forget to breathe sometimes when I am doing these branches. I hold my breath. I don't realize till after, and I'm like, <gasps> I just like take a big breath in, you know. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I remember to breathe. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's put in a little bit of a sticky baby here. Sometimes there's some weird like offshoots that happen. No one's gonna be here, why not? A weird offshoot. It doesn't really go anywhere. Maybe it goes off the canvas. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, I guess we have a super little knobby there. There we go. Cool. All right, so we got some trees on that side. Let's put some on the other side too. Okie dokies. We can always add more branches as we decide how we want them to to live. You know. Okay, so let's put another tree like here ish. So this one's gonna go off the canvas like that. Make the space a little thicker. Okay, and then we want this to come up, but I think I'm gonna start up here and bring it down. And then I'll have to just like thicken him up after. Okay, cool. Mm 
Okay. There we go. So it's up to you how you want to approach it. Sometimes I feel like I have more control when I start thin and then I press down and it becomes thicker. And sometimes I feel like I have more control and I start thicker and then I lighten up my pressure on my brush. So just see what feels right to you and then go with that. So you'll notice I'm kind of doing like both options. Kidokes. This needs to be a little thicker in here, like that, I think. Yes, absolutely, Diane. This will be available on my Facebook page under the Videos tab or on my YouTube channel under Lisa's Painting Parties once the live is complete. I have to upload it to there once it's done. So that just might be a little bit more delayed, but it will be available by tomorrow, the latest. Okay. All right, let's put in another tree. I really have to breathe more. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do it here. I think the side is like just a smidgen too far away from me and it's throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so with this guy, we're pretty much following the same pattern, aren't we? I'm just going to bring it up in here. Okay, and I'm just going to make that more opaque. This one's a thicker branch. It looks like happened. Okay, and then I'm just going to thin it out a bit. Breaks off into two. Okay. Okay, so here needs to be a bit thicker. There we go. Okay, and it's going to come out here, more or less. Oop, off the page. Nice. Ooh. There we go. Let's try to make some more branches wherever wherever your heart desires. Some might go on top of other ones because the tree might be crisscrossing it. So you can keep that in mind as you're doing this. There we go. Cool. All right, let's put the other one in. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Let's put another one in like here. Maybe this one will be a little. I'll break off a bit earlier like that one. We'll have it come this way. Just 
trunk does not look very stable. Alright, move this up a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Lots of little branches. Nice. Alright, and I think, should we do one more? I know there's four on either side, and I know maybe we will. Might as well, right? I feel like I spaced those out a little bit more. This looks kind of weird here, too. There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll do another little one. Back there. Okay, I'm just going to make sure my black is opaque. And then a little branch there. I think that's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to have this one kind of come a little bit more. A lot of curve that goes this way. So basically at this point now, if you have a bunch of these branches, just keep playing with it and filling it in until you are happy with the way it is. Definitely just made that a little too thick, but we can play with some of the flowering things afterwards and fix that up. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Coolio. So we got that going. So I think before we get into the flyeringness, let's put just a bit of a reflection to these trees that are growing out of water for some reason. Because why not? So the way we're going to do that is we're still going to use those little lines to put the shadow of the tree into the water. Okay. So black paint. Like little lines in the little ripples. Okay. And as it is, they'll just kind of dissipate as they might come back a little bit at the top there. branches kind of coming out differently too I think makes sense. I'm going to try and do the trunks and then I might put in some detail, some little black lines kind of to show those branches kind of sticking here and over there. Here and there.
cool. That looks pretty neat. Okay, and on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Bitchler lines. Black with your thin brush. And we're going to put more sparse. It's a little baby tree. Do the same thing here. Again, we're doing these like little lines just to get the ripple kind of idea of the water. Let's take a little bit of patience, so. here because I want some of the branches. Still see them kind of coming out. Just gonna add a little bit more here. I'm gonna do something on this side. Okay. Cool. Now, let's put in all of our flowers on our trees. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Asma. Hope you're enjoying the way yours is turning out. Hope everyone's enjoying it. This so, like, all of this has been really great. Like I said, I'm very... I'm very hesitant about putting in the dancers. <laughs> um, I feel very confident about doing every other aspect about this, but those dancers, oh man, they are um, freaking me out a little bit. Okay, let's put in all of our lovely flowers on the tree. So this has like kind of, it looks like very, very much of a pattern, so it kind of has like a couple little buds close together. Um, some are in black as well, so I didn't put any of the black and I should have done that maybe already. It's okay. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that first actually. Okay, I'm going to go in and let's do little black dotty things. I'm not going to do too much of a pattern. I'm kind of just going to play with where I think it makes sense. So I'm just going to put like little black dots. Kind of floating weirdly, but it will balance out once we put more in here. I kind of want to put the color more than black. I'll probably go back to the black afterwards. It's not, not my enjoyment right now. Okay, I'm going to go and do maybe some yellow. Okay. So do like two little kind of like lines close to each other.
Okay. And some can go on the, um, you know, the background, and some can go, like, right on top of the, the branch, like, where the branches are and where the trunk is. So you can kind of just put them anywhere. This painting's already pretty surrealistic, I would say, because these trees are kind of just like in the water and the people are like dancing on this water and this water doesn't look super shallow. So <laughs> I feel like at this point you could put like a unicorn in the background and it would make sense. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but. Okay, so now that I've done a bunch of little yellowy, I'm going to go on and do some red. Oh, this red is so poopy. It's like so thin. can't even see some of these red ones. Hopefully your red is a little thicker than mine, because this one's, I'm not digging the way the red's looking. Yeah, give up on this red. Ridiculous. Oh, thanks for joining, Bree. Yeah, definitely work on it tomorrow. Let me know how it goes. I can't wait to see it. I knew there was many components to this, but I honestly didn't think it was going to take as long as it's been taking, to be honest. I thought we would be a little bit further along by this point. I do usually have my paint parties, like I do um, set up the events so that for like three hours long. Although I don't, well, no, I have reached that. <laughs> I think one of the paintings we did once went to almost four hours. It was very, very long. But again, I try to estimate it and let you guys know if I think something's going to take a little bit longer. I really didn't think, again, we're, we're not doing badly. I mean, we have to just do some more of these flowers and we got to put the people in. But again, I think the people might, I'm a little bit concerned about the people. I feel like they're going to freak me out a little bit and I might mess them up. So <laughs> the people are scary. The trees are fine, and the flowers, but the people, I guess that's how I feel in real life too, I suppose. <laughs> okay, let's get some more orange happening. This one's popping nicely. Very, very cool. I gotta do it there, but I can't really see it. Probably because it's on top of the same color. Okay, let's do another one maybe on this side. Should be there in this darker area. Cool. Alright. Pretty 
I think I'm going to do a few in... I'm going to go back to my black, I think, and add a little bit more in the black. Oh, I'm so happy, Millie. Thank you. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. I don't blame you, Karina. Karina's saying she might leave the people out. I don't blame her at all. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of debating her, too, to be honest. It would just felt like a boat. <laughs> that would be easier. We'll see. We'll see. No, I'll, I'll be brave, and I'll, I'll try and see what happens, and... If mine turns out horribly, you guys don't have to do it. I mean, a way that we could, you can approach it too, is excuse the weird sounds. That's my white paint and nothing more. <laughs> um, but we, you could always um, print and then just scale that down to the size that you would want the image. You could cut it out and then you could like literally just outline it and do it that way, like almost like a stencil. So that. You could potentially approach it that way if you're really concerned about it. I'm a little like too lazy <laughs> to like go through that much effort. I'm, I'm I'm gonna just try to like not mess it up, but we'll see. I might regret it. I'm just putting in some white flowers too because I just I know they're gonna pop really nicely. Try to make some a little smaller too. I feel like I did them all the same size and I shouldn't have. I should have done some a little bigger and some smaller. The way I'm doing them too, because I'm putting like two little lines, they almost look like little hearts. So that's kind of cute kind of worked out nicely and I didn't really do that intentionally so that was kind of neat I love when things work out that way you know so nice okay I think I'm gonna go back to my black and just so I kind of put those little dots everywhere in black but I think I need to make them look like those little I'm just going to go over some of my black dots and just make them more heart or butterfly-esque, I guess, however you want to approach that, just to make them match. The other one's a little bit more. some spots that I didn't put them in before yeah I think that looks better than the little dots I did before I'm just kind of going over those little dots that I can spot if I miss some of them I guess it's okay too Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Cool. Brenda says, curious if anyone else sees the heart above the dancer's head in the tree branches and the flower in the original. Ooh, actually, I did not. I guess it was it was kind of in a bit in the shape of it. But I no, I can't really spot it, to be honest. It was funny that you say that because I know I was looking at it when I was thinking about doing this. I was thinking about 
really trying, even just maybe doing the background instead of having it in a circular. I was thinking maybe we should do it like in like a heart shape so that the center was actually like a heart and then bring it out. Um, so it's funny that you say that. So I was like, oh, I think maybe that would be kind of cool. But honestly, I, I forgot when we started. <laughs> so yes, a boat. See, yeah, Valerie is with me. <laughs> Let's just do a boat. <laughs> I can't mess it up as badly. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I think an angel could be really cool in the middle. I think, uh, again, you could do anything. You could leave it if you wanted to. Now is the time for me to paint the painters, the painters, the dancers. So we're going to see how it goes. It's right above their heads and not very big. What? You're like, I'm, I'm like really like right above their heads and not very big. Rhonda, now you got me on like a, a Where's Waldo kind of like, I can't see it for the life of me. It's like one of those like 3D puzzles that I can't see the image. <laughs> awesome, Laura. Thank you. And Jackie says, yeah, you can definitely watch the replay for sure if you missed it. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. I'm going to try and put the people in here. If it turns out badly then I might just make the silhouette into something different. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. All right. How are we going to, how are we going to approach it? Okay. We need our black paint. We need our black pa paint and our thin brush. This brush has been a little bit funky for me. This brush is a really thin one, but I think I might have even an even thinner one that I got in that pack. I'm going to see if I have a new thin thin brush and see if maybe that might be easier because this other thin brush I don't know you know when the when the brush ends start to like like split and flay like that's kind of what that one was ha what was happening and okay this is like a double zero apparently thin brush so I'm gonna see if I can maybe do that and see how that goes but I am so nervous about this I feel like I'm gonna make the proportions all wrong and it's gonna just look like like weird like mutants I mean that could be a look too mutants can find love right we can change up the, the name of this like mutants and love okay <sighs> stop for the odd jokes because I'm nervous okay um <laughs> I'm so scared guys okay we're gonna do it okay so let me see how we're going to do this. So their bodies, their feet are just slightly past this water here, but their bodies are predominantly in this area there. Okay. Uh, where am I going to start? I think I want to start with like his body, kind of like where his leg is. Oh, I hope I did. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. His back. So I'm going to do a line <laughs> like this. It's kind of bum. And come down with his leg. Oh my gosh. Like that. Yeah, that, that's how his leg looks. Sure. Um, okay. And that's his body. And his body is going to come up a little bit higher. Okay. And then his other leg is going to come out here. And it goes out further than his bum. And make it a little fatter. Bring it up here. Okay. The thing is about using these really thin brushes, like they don't hold a lot of paint. So you have to keep going and getting paint so often. Oh my god. I feel like I made his leg too fat. Okay, and then bring it out. His foot. And his shoe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's a really weird foot, guys. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love it. Okay, so... It's weird because I don't know where his body ends and her body begins. Ah, okay. Leg. So this leg comes down and he's like pointing his toe 
like you do in yoga and like proper dance. Flex, flex your toes. All right. I kind of got some bum and some legs. I think this has to be a little thicker though. I don't know, this doesn't look great. This leg back here. <laughs> One skinny leg and one fat leg. He has he has wide wide legged pants on. That that's why it's wider. Okay. Okay, and then let's put a body kind of. Let's kind of draw his body out a little bit. Let's fill that in. Cause why not? Cool. And then <laughs> Kind of do it like this, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then we need to put his arm, and his arm kind of comes up. Oh my god. I'm gonna get the shape, and then we're gonna fill it out. Alright. Okay, and then this needs to go into like a head and a neck. Okay, I have a headless guy who's very proud of himself. He's like, yes! Okay. Okay, breathe. Let's keep breathing. Breathing's important. Okay, and then we have a little head. And it's kind of tilted down. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not afraid to do like a mutant. It's okay. If he turns into a mutant, that's fine. His nose. Oh my god! Put more paint on that brush! <laughs> Alright. I gave him a prominent nose. hair to kind of stick out a little bit. Maybe it's a woman. Maybe it's a woman dancing with a woman. I don't know. Maybe he has long hair. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. That's what I got so far. Okay, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I think the portions are alright. His neck looks kind of weird, but I don't want to thicken it up too much until I get, like, her in here. Okay. Now, she's really close to him. How is this working? So, kind of, I don't know if I should do the bottom first. Ah! Okay. I'm going to kind of try to follow here. So there's, oh, I didn't even see when I painted that. That is so scary. Okay, so let's bring this. So her back is like here. <laughs> okay, and then there's kind of a little part there. Okay. It's a man carrying a sack right now. Okay, and then let's see and then it kind of okay so i need to like i need to create her butt and her butt is like where's his butt his butt's there so her butt has to be kind of like in opposition to his butt i, I don't know if this is like a thing but i feel like that's what it looks like to me oh my gosh and her leg is so thin okay okay we got this we got this okay so we gotta like <laughs> She has no head yet. It's fine. Okay, so her leg. Oh my god, of course it's shapely and, and cute. Okay, we're gonna bring it down. We're not gonna give it any shape yet. We're just gonna make it like a line. Okay, and then now let's give it a little bit of shape, I guess. <laughs> Okay. And then we need to give her like a heel. I think. Well, it's going to just be a shoe of some sort. I'm not guaranteeing what kind of shoe, but it is pointed as well. Okay, so she's going to be like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put like a little heel on it. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> it looks so weird right now. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. 
I don't know. Her leg looks weird. I don't know. Okay. And then she has like a skirt of some sort. I think I'm going to have to thicken up her leg. I think I messed up her foot. Okay. I'm going to bring her little skirt down. And there's like a little gap between them. Her skirt's going to come like that or something. I don't get that. Oh, I guess that's just like a, a highlight or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's way more space than it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm just going to fill it in. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fill it in and just do that. <laughs> and then, oh, no, don't go away. This is not the time for my iPad to go away. Okay, so I think her leg needs to be a little thicker. Her shoe looks really dumb. Okay, that's a little better. She's wearing a funky boot, that's why. Okay. And then her other foot is like coming out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of draw a little flat down like this. And then her heel or something is gonna be like there. Fine. Okay, now we need to put a head or something for her. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. <laughs> and she's kind of, of course, like tilting, looking up at him because it can't just be like straight on. It has to be kind of like a tilt up. Okay, but she has like some funky hair, so that's cool. Okay, so we're going to kind of give her... That's true. I can kind of get away with it a little bit if her hair looks... Okay, and then her nose is going to come out. They both have like prominent noses. And then we're going to put like a hair in a bun or something like that. Sorry, I think I'm fully blocking it as I'm doing it, but that's the only way I have my control over it. All right, all right, not too shabby. I was gonna, I think I need to like thicken that up a little bit, but I don't know, I'm scared. Okay, um, I need to like make her neck like a little thicker. I feel like that neck looks a little, that's better. Okay, and then we need them to hold hands. I can just come down like this though. Yes, yes. And I want it to look like, I don't know, something's happening here, like little bumps or something, because if their hands are clasped. It's like too skinny in this silhouette. I want to make her fatter. She's a dancer. Like, come on. She has to have muscle. She can't be super. Yeah, like that arm's a little better, I think. Okay, maybe I'll give her a bit more of a butt. Yeah, that's cuter. I like her. I think she'd appreciate that. Okay, and I'm going to just make her skirt come a little bit longer. All right. There we go. Not too shabby. His foot still looks a bit funky. Maybe I'll give him like a bit of a heel or something. And then make his pant like... Yeah. <laughs> that looks weird. That's okay. <laughs> Alright. So we got our, our lovers dancing. And actually, you know what? I'm, I'm happy with it. Thank freaking goodness. Okay, cool. So I want to now put in a little bit of a shadow for them, similar to the trees and stuff that we did there. So similarly, give them a bit of a base with their feet. Not too much because there's legs going on there, right? So there's not too much happening. Little, little, littles. And then we're going to put in... Some more lines over here. For some reason they use blue in this painting too. I mean, that's kind of cool. So we thicker kind of where their bodies are and then just like bring it out smaller again because of their um, heads. 
where our arms are. I hope to be a little. Right, and the shadow should kind of meet up a little bit. That's kind of cool. I have a lot of blue. Maybe let's play with the blue too. Why not? The original has some blue. Hope. Why not? Let's get some more color in here. Not sure why, but you know. Cute. All right. Okay, I think. Her <laughs> calf muscle. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I'm scared. Should I try and do that again? Should I try and give her a bit more of like a? Okay, I'm gonna try. Like that? <laughs> Is that working? A little bit. I feel like she has like fat calves now. I don't know. Maybe I just need to make this a little bit wider, and then it won't look as weird. <laughs> I'm scared. This should have been more straight, I think. I think it's a little better. Okay, I think I think that's that's good. I kind of want to put her little heart or something above them too. But I mean, maybe that's overkill. <laughs> it's already like the way I love each other. Obviously, it's all like heart and dancing and fun in the background. But I kind of want to put like a little. Part. I think I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ruin it. That's okay. Why not? I thought I was going to make a crazy situation before. I'm going to do that right now. Got my thin brush. Now I can do anything. That's so cute. Yeah, I like it. Awesome. All right, I think I am going to call this complete. I'm just going to sign my name awkwardly at the bottom. Cool. And there we go. I didn't see that, but that's okay. Awesome. So I think that's good. Oh, thank you so much, Valerie's. Yeah, definitely do. Um, try them out. I, like I said, I'm very happy that they turned out better than I anticipated. Um, I strongly suggest giving them prominent noses. Apparently, that's my thing. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I definitely uh, would love to see your everyone's art. I always enjoy seeing it. Um, and I'm glad you look forward to uh, to this on Wednesday. I do as well. So thank you all for joining. I'm going to move this back up here so you can see me again for a little bit. Oh, no. I moved my space. There we go. All right. So, yeah. So thank you all for joining me uh, for our weekly paint party. Again, for anyone who missed it or, um, or at the beginning, um, what we do is every Saturday, I will put three options that I find from Google searches or photos or um, anything of interest um, that I think is really cool that I like to paint. Um, and then you all vote for it. So if you um, like or follow my page, you'll get a notification when I put the post up. And then you can just go onto that post and you can uh, vote for the one you like best. The one that has the most votes by Tuesday at noon and noon when I speak is Eastern Standard Time. Um, that will be the one that we paint live on the Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every week. And when I paint it, it is my first time painting it. So it is, uh, I just go for it and I talk you through how I would approach painting it. And um, again, you guys can share and give your comments and uh, your suggestions as we go. And um, I think that's about it. So yeah, so thank you again for joining. I hope you had a great time with me. And... I can't wait to see yours. Please snap a picture and share it once uh, I put the post up. And um, have a fantastic week.
stay warm, all of you people in colder climates, climates, and have a great rest of your day. Bye!